Hello everyone, welcome to another checkmate session. So I will do checkmate puzzles maybe around like 40 minutes today. So let's see how do you this go? So next one white to move. Black to move. Hmm. Wow, black to move. Hmm. Yeah, we can take on C2 and then take the A1 rook. Still, it looks pretty good. So, should be there something more? Hmm. Try to move the other knight to c5 in the right moment. Ooh, I get an idea. Yeah. Knight takes c2, bishop a4 check. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Very nice. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's go for the next one. Okay, white to move. Okay, I think I saw this one before. Black to move. Nice one. White to move. Probably queen takes. I know, look at the two times. White to move. G4. No, K3. White to move. Queen F1. Yeah. 
Okay, right to move. Black to move. Black to move. White to move. Ooh, this is nice, actually. Change sacrifice and then queen sacrifice. Oh. Okay, right to move. Six when the queen comes. Okay, right to move. Oh, this is nice. Check, sacrifice, double check, and checkmate. White to move. So why to move, why to move, why to move? Checkmate in four, in four moves. So queen sacrifice. White to move. Black to move. Just capture. Black to move. White to move.
So I need to move, I need to move. Rook takes e5 takes, then queen b7, then the checkmate. But if he goes to b8, actually after rook takes e5, then queen b7, okay, and then he cannot protect. Okay, white to move. Bishop, rook, rook, down. Okay, black to move. Now this is just a review of the old easy ones. Hello Ashman, nice to see you. Just a quick review of the order puzzles. Yeah, me too, I must have, because that means I am practicing every day a little. <laughs> Probably I will play a tournament in next Thursday, from Thursday to Sunday. There's, we will see how the other things are going, but that's the goal, that's the plan. I, I, I would like to win that tournament. At least give my best and we'll see how it goes. What are your favorite openings? Black to move here. Oh, so many variants. Which variants do you like to play?
Ah, okay. And as a kid, I played a variant where we call it French chess, where you need to, the opponent need to capture all of your pieces, then you win. And how do you call it in English? Wow, 32 pounds. Wow, that that's looks interesting. <laughs> 32 pounds. Oh my god. Wow. That looks cool. Ah, pounds versus pieces. Ah. Nice to see you here, Tsirok, in our stream. Improve your game, I suggest you to do a lot of puzzles, play long games, analyze those long games, and study master games. I'm also available actually for coaching, so if you want some more specific advice, I can help you maybe in a few lessons. You can reach me on this link this way, this email address I just sent in the chat. Why to move? black to move white to move wow aspect thank you very much for gifting a sub sub to cyrox Where are you from, Cyrox? Maybe you can tell a little bit about your chess. A little bit about your chess history and your chess goals. So why to move here? Ah, from Sweden, okay. Actually, I have a student who lives in Sweden, Magnus Boras, his name is. Ah, Sirokuti, okay, Sirokuti. So why to move? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, now, okay, now knight e6 check. It's 
if capture the queen, the bishop g7 checkmate, I think that's, that's clear. The question, what if he is not, he will not take. So he plays something like maybe g5. Okay, then we just play queen f6 check. And exchange queens and then take the f8 rook. Uh, or even this is even stronger. Wow. So going for the checkmate. How is your chess? Which part of your chess would you like to improve? What are your biggest challenges in chess? Why to move? Okay, these are easy ones. We looked this before many times. Black to move. Rook e8. Remember this line: queen f1 and then queen takes f2. So check mid. White. Okay. White again. Oh, this is beautiful. Two times sacrificing two pieces. Check. Check. Check and checkmate. Then queen g4 check and bishop takes d7. Let's go for next one. Black to move. Check me. Yeah, white to move. Let me try to quickly go over all this stuff until we arrive to something new. White to move. Check. Check it. So black to move. Check and check it. Black to move again. White to move. Black to move and the sacrifice. White to move. Mm -hmm. Check. The smother mate. And the smother mate. Queen sacrifice. This is interesting actually. So first rook check and the knight h3, that's a nice move. Okay, white to move. White to move again. White yeah. and there's smother mate. Black. Okay, 
is we are rated for 15 and so why to move you mm -hmm. ah, okay so quite young so you're liking good chances to improve this is a start to do the, some consistent efforts i guess I suggest you to play at least one long game a day uh, a week <laughs> so maybe like a 45 45 game or something like this i think uh, for that very good the, the chess dojo tournament there are some slow time control games Suggest you to join here the club and then look in the news the October November classical tournament. Probably this, I don't know if you can still join me for one more game for this one, but this probably will start something new soon, maybe in December. And I suggest you also at least one hour to take on studying every day. Probably a lot of tactics in, in, in your situation when you are 1500. Yeah, if you need any more help to look maybe your games together or give you some very special advice then yeah we can meet in, in a lesson or two and then i can help or if you enjoy it you can be like re regular students most of the students we meet weekly Let's at least analyze one, one of their games and uh, have to prepare there for the long term control games and uh, work on different aspects of their chess. So nice bit by two sacrificing. Okay, why two again? Checkmate. Well, this is nice white to move. In training sessions, most of the time we do two things. One is to going over the students' games together and commenting on those those games or, or recognizing the good and the bad things, the mistakes, and then suggesting some training materials based on those. Also, sometimes we I give exercises for students, so like, ex like example, end game positions or calculation exercise with middle game positions, some combinations which helped for the students to solve. Or sometimes we study openings together, like looking typical games, or can decide on any typical 
parts of the middle game or typical team to look some examples together. Why do it checkmate? One, two, three, four. Absolutely, yeah, please give your write your story. We have around ten more minutes here because after actually I get in in seven, eight minutes I will start a lesson. Actually a series of lessons. I will teach five or six hours today, in the afternoon and evening. So why to move? Black to move. White to move. Why to move again? This is nice. Why to move again? Nice checkmate. Again, black to move. Oh, this is nice. Maybe you can try to find this one. Rook D1. Captures then. And now Queen C2 check is threatening because then King A1, the Rook takes C1. If captures then same, same challenges. Black to move. So, Ciro Kuti wrote his story. So, I won a tournament. I was in many years ago. The prize was a gift card. Someone recommended me to get Silma's Reassess Your Chess book, which I did. Okay, yeah. Duke is still in my library without me having opened it once. I think it may be time now. Do you know of the book? Any thoughts on it? Absolutely, that, that, that is one of the books which we use as a textbook with students. Actually, we have a command for that, for the link. Yeah? Which you, you can get on Amazon. <laughs> if somebody asks me, I'm interested also in, in the book, this is a great book. I suggest this to study. This is great to study the different teams of the chess middle game. Also, also, Sima has a very good style of writing, I think, with humor. It's really a good reading because of the reading, but also it's, uh, I think it can be very helpful for your chess improvement. Nearly everybody can, it can benefit, even I, I can benefit when I am reading it.
So here black to move. This is nice actually, nice. First give a check. And here comes the sacrifice, the bishop to remove the rook from the e1 square. Okay, white to move. White to move again. Let's try to do it. There are some more puzzles of this series. to move white to move again white to move this is beautiful black to move so five minutes we have until the lesson starts, the student just messaged me. This is beautiful sacred, and then the knights are checkmating the king. Last question How does one improve their visualization skills? I think by solving puzzles, actually, you are improving your visualization skills because, for example, when, if you solve like these puzzles, which I'm doing also part of, partly because of that, it's like four moves checkmate, you need to imagine the pieces going forward, like four pair of moves, so like eight moves. So this helps you to visualize. Reading books can also help you, yeah, because then you need to visualize where the pieces are moving from page to page. And life food chess, of course, if you can, that's also helpful. So, but just solving combinations, longer combinations, without moving the pieces, just in mind, until you, you look the solution in the end, that also helps. Yeah, this is beautiful. Queen sacrifice. Three more. Black to move. And one more. Yeah, you are welcome. Hope you can use some of the ideas. Okay, so you know, knowledge is nothing. Applied knowledge is everything. So try to do something differently than before. So use your the knowledge which you got. Try to put into practice.
Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for Ashmak to supporting the stream for giving a gift subscription. Thank you everybody for Big Elm Burger. Thank you very much for following. And uh, maybe I, I will be back a little bit later. Until I suggest you to watch the maybe the reruns because yeah you can then solve again the puzzles. Ah, thank you, Zero QT. Thank you very much for the follow. Okay, thank you guys. All the best.